Get back at the yard. Um, I heard this stuff out already, so antique show's over. Just want to kind of sweep up the area a bit here. See, the weather's dry right now, so in case there's any nails. I acquired about a, uh, a radiator for my truck for the dealer, and it told me 1200 bucks. That's ridiculous, 1200 bucks. It's only aluminum, it's nothing special. And it comes from California or somewhere. The antique show was a very, very good success. Made a lot of good money compared to not having really anything to sell. Sells good. So I didn't really have much to sell. And now, eliminated quite a bit of junk. Stuff that was collecting dust. I kind of want to move this wire and stuff. Maybe put some wire in containers for now so I can get rid of them Monday. I'm concerned because I was going to use the big truck. This is really close. Next scrap, scrap location. Can't seem to win. Kind of don't trust those truck dealers because the truck had no issues, and I take it in there, and next thing the rads leaking. You don't know some of these companies. All they have to do is just uh, loosen a couple prongs a little bit, right, and pressure. That's all it takes, right? Don't know. I'm not saying they will, but okay. Let me just get organized here. I'm gonna find. Try to put some stuff here. Got a copper wire here. I'm gonna move a few things just so that uh, I have a little more staging here. Some of the stuff I can put maybe in the baskets or something. I'm gonna put tires maybe. Over there, I think, and then maybe put some of these other things in another pile further that way, maybe. Okay, hold on. I'll throw it in here, I guess. Once go full bore, I'll have no time, so I'm gonna get in there right now and start doing it.
long haul. <coughs> To dump the soda here before it gets full, full of junk, full of water. The oh, mosquitoes will be breeding. Okay, that's done. Something's out to clean, I'll put it in the other pile. Had intentions to put the bin on the ground and then take stuff out by hand, put it in the right piles. I'm gonna see if I can go to place again, maybe a used one, used rat or maybe something, I don't like that. We'll see. Let's see if they got a truck park, parts place. So I can put, I'll have to try to change it myself. Everybody's too busy, I think, right now. That's a problem. Christmas lights are a pretty good pile, actually. I'll take that in tomorrow. I'll get garbage cans. Let me get garbage cans and start feeding wire. We five garbage cans. Okay, hold on. I could take maybe some of the number one back tomorrow and then take the, these two crystal lights and these ones back. Maybe a little borderline this plastic here, but take it off. Should almost be putting in containers when I get it. It's easier to get it out, untangle it if you know what I mean.
I guess I don't keep keep piling the stuff here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so what I am is done. What I want to do right now. This is strippable wire. This one had low grade mixed in it. It's a BX. Strip this one. This is a power adapter I might keep. Goes from a 220 into like a 220 plug. Strip that. Obviously welding cable. I'm going to strip. So, and then we're going to go. This is a two, uh, two buckets of Christmas lights. Three buckets of number two low. Number one insulated BX. Or this is insulated BX. Tech or insulated BX, but it's called tech, I guess. BX here. That's a uh, low grade high balances. Okay, and um, it's all clean there. And then what I want to do. I might take that basket and stick all this bread makers and door things and electric motors in there. Not today. I'm going to see if I can drive around a bit. So. You know, like all this stuff will fit in there, most of it. Ceiling fans and so on. And I'll put that insulation here, then I'll have a clear area here. Start fresh again. So I'll probably do that tomorrow sometime, then go out again. And, you know, there might be the odd wire I can cut off. And ladders get so dirty, I can put them actually right in my pile, to be honest. I should actually cut this off here. This will be sold Monday, and then I'll drive around. Uh, but I have to find a little bit of radiator too, so the chance I'll have to change the radiator myself. Or I'm gonna be, L maybe he's he's pretty good at mechanics. Maybe get L to do it. It's pretty simple. There's just you know getting tools and two guys working on it. This won't take long. You change in probably an hour. Because you got clear open, you know, the hood flips up, it's quite easy. Okay, so that's it uh, for, for now. Let's uh, see what we can find on this other road. Stay tuned. First street here, dirty aluminum. Gotta love it. I'm only taking good metals right now. Obviously, why? But it's spotty right now. So I just started. I see aluminum here, clean. Aluminum here. Well, it's very actually very heavy duty. Nice and clean. Uh, that's good because I didn't actually tend to go out today. To be honest, I was going to go out Sunday. I figured my show, take it easy. For my show, and I clean. And I started cleaning the metal lights. Or my wire and stuff. I started organizing and now back here. Okay. That's aluminum, but too hard to unfold. Sometimes they break and they don't, you can't fold them up. Okay, stay tuned. This is uh, Delta now. Okay. It's one of the bigger piles we've seen. Oh, it's a good blender there. Bit of stainless. Pressure washer there. Better get the... So it's HMS. It's heavy metals. Any kind of stainless steel. Anything to do with like weight. This, this thing's heavy. It's like a these are pretty heavy duty mortars inside. I don't see a lot, but this is my second pile now. Get my cutter, have it in my pockets. Cut the cord right away so I can take cords back too right away. HMS. There she is, HMS. No pressure washer, just the uh, hose. Look, it's a blower there. We'll see. Let me grab the blower. 
right now it's the, the sake or something uh, so there's a big festival it's East Indian festival so a lot of people are there's a huge community here so there's a lot of people throw stuff out but today's a holiday for them so obviously not gonna be doing nothing today most of the people but tomorrow I saw some but I can't I don't know where I saw it what was up lower I was looking at this thing here and just knock this off here oh. frozen it's only plastic anyways but this is stainless steel here see problem is some of these have uh, the battery they have batteries inside there so you have to be careful when you're dumping it scrap pairs won't take them like it he's something this is it's heavy heavy enough for its size so I'll pop the cord off two cords and there was a saw a skateboard there but we'll see what happens but if it's good I'll do at least a couple loads tonight I gotta catch up especially my truck if I can't get my truck going I'm in trouble there for I was gonna take big loads, right? Of the truck, because I'm only like 10 minutes from my house, 10, 15 minutes, instead of 45 minutes. You know, that's the way things go, okay? Okay, so, a couple lights here. Keep that one there for now like that. Dirty aluminum and light. Steel, uh, not my pick for now. If I had my truck, I would took it. Cause it's, you know, I just throw it in there and dump it after. Okay, keep moving. Okay, not sure how much stuff's gonna be here, so I'll throw at least one bike. Yeah, I, I think I said the Wally, I said the Saki. Bazaki celebrations. Okay, there's some stuff up there. Those bikes have got a little bit of weight there. I don't mind taking them. They don't, they don't take a lot of room. And the weight's not too bad. There's a couple more bikes up there too. I'm close to my house, so I could be in my house in 10 minutes. So I could be cruising all night, loading even just bikes up. A couple bikes, maybe I'll take those, get a little more wheels. I'm just, don't, it's very spotty, but you know, I'll take what, what I can for now. If I get too selective. Two aluminum wheels, that's okay already. Okay. I found this tank over there. It's a pressure washer. Two, two ducks here are chasing each other. Furniture. Okay. Some stuff here. I think that's aluminum here. This is gonna be heavier. These two things could be heavy. Yeah, 10, about 20 pounds. How's it going? 
No, this is just junk. Spring cleanup. Everything goes. Okay, I'm gonna grab this AC because for size and volume, super heavy, and to strip them out to full plastic, so it's a pain. To be honest, not worth it. Ooh. Probably 60 70 pounds at least for its weight, it's good. Let's get out of here. This is somewhat heavy. I see something in the bag here. Okay, I'll grab that lamp, lamp cord. Thing. Shades are just junk. Maybe buy like another garbage can of wire. Probably by the by tomorrow for Monday. But it has to rain again. See, every time I go out, it rains. Ridiculous. Everything's slippery, slimy, can't hold nothing. I got oil on our gas from that machine all over my hands. So now the water's making it super slippery. Okay. Well that's gonna be spring cleanup. Big tank there and a bunch of filing cabinets. Lawnmower sitting there. I'll keep it. I know it's location, I'll keep it in the future. Tank would be nice to get, the big tank. Quite heavy. Okay. Take out bulbs. Nah, I'll just I can recycle them, I'm not too worried, but I'll leave the plastic. Just gonna probably break in my car, but oh well. We'll grab okay. this chair, it's got good weight. Well, this one's not that bad, but some some do. Some are heavier, but I'll take cans, well I'll take this. do a baller run soon anyway so as long as the barcode you can pick it back no barcode don't bother not worth nothing they're given for free these are actually pretty good trays I like these kind this one's actually pretty clean they're good for stacking stacking things take that one for now Okay. Well, it's all, it's all long pieces. This looks heavy here. So I'll throw it on there. I'm gonna gloves. That looks like it's worth taking. We piled everything. It's gonna go all over the street. It's a long piece there, actually. Hmm. I'll wait, wait for now. I'll wait. I've got the two bottles here. At least I'm at 20 cents. Guys staring in the window, that's why I'm not going to dig through it. So they go all over the driveway. 
Okay. So a coaxial cable. Oh, this box is really good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I score today. I'll take the coaxial cable. It's still good. It's not cable vision, it's ha like ham radio, CB. This box is a little really good. A real good box. See? People worried about the rain. I don't worry about the rain. That's a lot of cable here. It's all kinds of. Holy smokes. This is like a 50 pounds of cable. But that's coaxial cable. But that's okay. It's still copper core. It's probably like long grade wire. Put brass connections on here. Just a little score. See that? That's awesome. Oh, look at this. Even wrapped it up here so it won't get wet. Good people. That's what I call. It's nice of them. Heavy steel. Everybody's getting free Pisaki stuff. I'm in free scrap. I don't like that thing. A couple pieces of stainless steel there, too. This is stainless steel here. I would say for sure. Wow. That's actually a good container. Good for different kind of scrap, you know when you got heavy scrap. I'll take the container. It's not cracked enough. Take that. Is that steel I think? Yes, it is, and it's mine. It's got my name on it. Look at that. Look at this. That's all number two. Well, braided wire. Pound right there. Square to 450. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. For the four piles staring at me here, I gotta see what's in these piles here. A lot of kids and Nerf guns and different guns and toys. Not sure what kind of quality we're gonna get here, but it could get good. What is this thing here? There's two more piles. A pile over here and a pile here. The light's kind of wonky. Okay, maybe like that. More like it. Mm, stainless. Smells like fire around here. This stainless is okay. See, every time I do spring cleanup, it rains. Like heavy. It's heavy rain. I hate, hate that. And it's getting dark too, it makes it even harder to see anything good, but I did good with wire, that's a score. I was just talking to Scrap Bongo. I told him to get out here maybe tomorrow or next day, he might. But he said he's got material, but he's no time to put it on video. He's been, been busy, it's too bad. Eventually he'll, he'll have something on video. Okay. Just random, random stuff. Cords, a little blower, a second go. Those little pipes are pretty heavy, actually. There's another. That's aluminum, probably. Look at this thing here. 
how small that is. Look at that. I've seen one that small. There's lots of brass here, but that's too time consuming for such a little piece of brass. That's yeah, gonna be good. This is right now load number four for spring cleanup with little red and four with the big white and then the bin only has one load so far okay not much but look see tumblers they add up for weights this thing is actually pretty heavy here let's just take the bars off it just get some whatever heavy metals for now well, stainless steel tumblers, right? Easy to clean. Today's a wash on anyway, so weather, weather-wise, even this thing is pretty heavy. Well, too bulky, but not heavy enough. This one's okay. Almost, well that's a good one so, so how's that one there that one's junk but that's that's a good one here forged very heavy so I'll just cut the handle off a bit so that's, a, that's a temporary two temper one okay not too heavy but hey be over here all night just because there's not a lot of stuff here so let's see what's over here a lot of renovation stuff that's when you get ballasts and copper and stuff you find rental houses oh look at the ballast see like i said ballast there there's fishing rods there but can't sell them even fishing rods can't sell them this looks like a good one but no buyers I tried garage sales, no. Nope. Even flea markets, I think. I got a relative who does the flea market, he said, can't, can't sell fishing gear. Used to be good for a while, but he said it's not that great anymore. Unless you got something really high end. All this kid stuff, it's not that great. Okay. I told you to copper. Wow, we're not lucky, eh? I told you we're talking about copper. My next move is copper. Told ya. I know I know my stuff. It's probably like 20 dollars of copper. And that big cap. Look at that. Bathroom reno. See when you see that kind of stuff, reno materials. Yeah, these lights aren't that bad. They got a little bit of weight. I'll just leave them because they're reusable maybe for someone. They look pretty good actually. Is that brass here? Well, it's pot metal, minimum pot metal. Could even be brass actually. It's really heavy. Probably a small, bet you solid brass. It's gonna be park. This guy took off already. Fan there. Wow, I can't believe the copper. That's a score. That's a score for sure. See, early bird gets the worm, like they say. I'll take this just because I'm not sure how long I'm gonna go for. I've been I only had a few hours sleep last night. Just I had to do the antique show, right? Got the load pack, you know how it is. Yeah, it's solid brass. Guaranteed. That's why it's so heavy. Probably $10. $10 of scrap, probably there. $10 bucks in brass, probably. Just gonna take a better look here. There could be caps and fixtures and stuff mixed in here. 
So you get up early. Check the stuff for early. You get stuff. Nope. 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 Okay. Awesome. Give a thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up if you like my channel. Okay. Really? See, look at them. I'm getting wire. I'm getting brass. I'm getting HMS. Grab that a second. See, that's why I'm looking at the piles because no one's been at these piles yet. These are fresh piles. Oh, a power tool of some sort. Lots of wood. Sander or something. A lot of these power tools work, it's just to old tools. Oh. Another big pile of straight head. Hold on. The speaker stands. It's heavy. Uh, Weights. I saw this case, but where's the stereo? Or the. That's yeah, nice and aluminum frame. I smell East Indian food, that's all I smell. Everybody's cooking big dinners right now. So that, that lone frame's worth extruded. Extruded. Chair. Oh, there's lots of power tools there. They gotta be good power tools. They gotta work. I can't see them all being no good. All these power tools. I didn't even see these power tools. Look at this. 20. Ah, nice. This one's gone. Back is broken. I think this might be good. I can't see them all being broken, but one is damaged for sure. Fill, fill the little gaps. Making me hungry. All this food here. Butter chicken. They give you free food, all these people, like when. Oh, well, that's for the for the cleaner steam cleaner. Wow, this is a good item too. No room for you. Sorry. I'm trying to remember where that is. This thing's. Air, air or something. No cord or something. Cord's gone. It's gonna have a big copper mortar in this thing. This is actually really good. Well, someone else will have to take it. Okay. Hmm. Nice bike here, actually. If I get in, it'd be worth taking. Looks actually quite nice. It's a diamond back. The way things are, it looks pretty tight. Make a bike tight. like a miracle or what? How's that possible? How did I go in there like that? Must be me. Oh, almost. Just one more inch. Must be my talent. Well, I never thought that would go in there to be honest. It's unbelievable. 
Wow, that's a nice looking bike. It's a Diamondback. It's just a, you know, it's a beater, but it's we're taking since I'm here. Umbrellas here, but uh, who knows? A little junkie. This one here, you know, tarp over some of it. Let's just take a quick look. What's it say here? Protecting from rain, spring cleaning. Please look, take what you like. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, look at that. saw there. I don't like cutting cords off especially because they might want to, someone to take it but it's you know obviously it's garbage. Not a lot for me but the, the saw is something super heavy. Oh I'll take what I like. I'll take this baby. 